before that, though, Larissa has another very special doggy to tell us about today. Hey, Larissa. Hey. Yes, this is a very, very, very special dog. If you've been following me online, you know that, man, when I was in Louisiana, I fell in love with a lot of the dogs there. One of them was very, very important. Her name is Meriwether, and she suffered some horrific abuse. And the second my eyes locked with hers, I knew we had to help. Take a look here with Meriwether. She could not be lovelier. She's been here since February. She came in, she was skin and bones and a mess. You're such an excited, smiley girl. Look at that tail. She is just wonderful. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Merry Weather! Oh my god! You made it, baby girl! You made it! You made it! You're here! Oh my goodness, she is one amazing girl who really deserves an amazing home and a, a wonderful angels came together to help save her and as we said there, bring her to LA. So let's meet a couple of them who are now watching over her and making sure she's getting all the treatment she needs until she <laughs> finds her adoption ever after. The fabulous Ellen with Deity Animal Rescue and John with I Pity the Bull Rescue. Thank you guys so much. Tell us how Meriwether's doing. I miss her, I haven't seen her for a little bit. <laughs> Well, as you can see, she has a toy squirrel <laughs> that she is just loving every minute of sitting here next to the sofa with us in her new sweater that she got for the show today. <laughs> and she's just loving life. Um, we needed to get her into a wonderful foster home because of some health issues that she has with heartworm and our Dear friend John, with I Pity the Bull, was the top of the list, and thank goodness he had room for her. Yes, and he's been working with her with learning her manners. Obviously, heartworm is one of those conditions that will get better. She's with treatment right now. We're undergoing treatment. It is not contagious to other dogs as long as mosquitoes are not a, an issue in the area you live in. So she is taking applications for adoption, and she is healthy enough to be put into a home, but they do need to continue her treatment. Now, John, quickly tell us what you've learned over the last little bit with her. So Meriwether, she is a fun, fun fun dog um she's such a good girl but she uh she likes to chew on stuff and she's <laughs> you know right now she's great at being a dog we're just teaching her how to be a pet that way when she does get adopted um she knows the best of both worlds i love it well thank you guys so much she's three years old she gets along with your little son there she loves your fiance she hasn't met a human she doesn't love she's also good with other animals i really hope somebody watching uh you know falls in love with her and i do have to say when you see a dog like that and know the resiliency that they went through from you know horrific abuse at the hands of a human to this it just is remarkable she's a wonderful girl and anyone, please go online to find out more. The uh, websites are below on your screen. And you can always find more at my website, savedbythel.com. Mary Weather is a, is a wonderful living legend. And we're going to continue her story and find her an adoption ever after. Thank you, guys. My heartfelt gratitude to both of you and everybody Thanks, involved. Thank this you. This is because of you, Larissa. Thank you so much. You Thank did you. this. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I couldn't have done it without everybody that helped, including you both. So thank you. And of course, of course, everybody, go to a rescue or shelter near you. Find an animal that speaks to you. No matter what their story is, they have such love and loyalty to give. And find an adoption ever after that fits and completes your family. Larissa, thank you so much. Meriwether's story is incredibly heartwarming. No doubt that she will find a forever home.